you know who's on the line? Yes. Harold the H. Ah! 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 Peacock. And uh, he's going to tell us a story about a real ghost. I thought it all goes to real. Jack Sims told us that. Yeah. At the historical house of Dev- Dover Court, which he's written a book on. If you want to get a copy, go. We've got one out yeah, in exactly. our reception. Historyoutthere.com. And uh, she's from Ipswich. Can oh. you believe he's been peeking that a ghost is a woman? Yes. And uh, she uh, comes, she comes from, from Ipswich. Ipswich. How did he know that? I could say, but I won't. Okay. Well, I'd had two heads. <laughs> Now, are uh, you there, uh, Harold? Yes, good morning, Danny. Can I I'm tell you, Harold, outside. Yeah. that I went mm-hmm. to a big business thing once that I am seeing at the Heritage, and this is going back, and we can talk about it. Paul Pasal, he was the mayor, and he started off his talk by having a picture of him sitting at his desk with his suit on with two Paul Pasali heads. He said, ah, oh, they all make fun of us, reckon we've got two heads, and, and then he's telling about how the city's growing, the raft base, you know. So that, there's a story for you. So I've covered myself with saying two heads, all right? Now, okay, let's talk good. to you about Dover Court and this ghost. Yeah, Danny. Now, this could be a bit scary for some people, so I'll take it slowly this morning. Nice. Now, we recently found out from the owner of Dover Court that her nine-year-old daughter, Harriet, mm. gets visited in a room by a ghost. Right. She says it's a lady that talks to her from the end of a bed. Right. The talks are very friendly, mm. but stops her going to sleep. Mm. Now, I've told you before about Dover Court, and like you said, it's a beautiful home in Tuong that was built in 1865. Mm. Previous residents there have been families of Queensland premiers and Supreme Court and High Court judges, and stories, the other stories, have included conspiracy, sex scandal, assault, murder, disappearance, a lot. It's still there. Mm. It absolutely is still there. It's a beautiful home in the middle of Tuong. And there have been two deaths at Dover Court. One was a 17-month-old girl in 1903. The other was her father in 1911. But the ghost that we're talking about here is a lady. And so we believe that the ghost is actually Ipswich's mini Lightola. <laughs> now... Minnie was born in Ipswich in 1886 and was one of six children born in seven years mm-hmm. to Ipswich doctor Harry Lightoller. Holy old Harry's Lightover was working well, wasn't it? Well, Dr. Lightoller's premises were in East Street in Ipswich where he practised from the 1870s right. to 1897 and I'm sure he helped a lot of mothers <laughs> there during that time. <laughs> what on the side? Now, Two of Minnie's siblings actually <laughs> died as infants, Danny, which <laughs> may have affected her. <laughs> now, in 1910, yeah. Minnie married Carl Palmer, who was the son of the fifth premier of Queensland, Colin. Sir Arthur Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> now, sadly, Minnie died giving birth that very next year. Now, that wasn't in Dover Court. It was in another home. And Minnie's husband, Carl, was so distraught <laughs> that he left and never returned to that house again. And the surviving daughter... She went to live with spinster aunts. But nine years later, Minnie's husband and his second wife moved into Dover Court. And it seems that Minnie followed him and moved in too. And she's still there. Now, the reason we think that is because the ghost only appears to nine-year-old Harriet, who lives there today. And Minnie's surviving daughter, when her husband moved into Dover Court... She was also nine years old, yeah. and the daughter and the daughter's name. It was also Harriet. Oh, but there's more, Danny. Oh, the Harriet living there today has given a description of the ghost, mm. and it matches a photograph of Minnie with her high Edwardian hairstyle perfectly. Mm. So it seems that Ipswich's Minnie is a Dover Court because of her love for her husband, and is talking to a daughter, Harriet, that she never got to raise herself. Oh. And Minnie's ghost, yeah. if such as Minnie's ghost, yeah. might also have kept following her husband to the house that he left, that he built after Dover Court, <laughs> because there have been similar ghost stories there as well. Oh. So if such as residents dominate Brisbane to this day. Wow. You have delved. Have you talked to any ghosts of late to get more info? No, I generally go to libraries, but it's pretty ghostly in some of them, I can tell you. Mm. Um, but I've found some really good stuff. Like for Minnie, 
to, on 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 my website, I'll be host, I'll be posting a photo of Minnie herself, a photo of Carl, and of David caught the house. How uh, so no, mm-hmm. yeah, go to historyoutthere.com dot com online, Benny. History out there dot com, and you'll find this story. He amazes us. He is probably Australia's best researcher. And what was that bloke? The old follower is in his nineties. David does the animals. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Danny. What's his name? Oh, Ad- David Attenborough, yeah. David Attenborough. Yes, you David are the David Attenborough of Australian history of Ipswich. That is an honour, Danny. What an honour. Which I, which I will take to my grave and I will haunt you with it forever. <laughs> it's fantastic. Historyoutthere.com, another great story from Harold the H. Ah, 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 Peacock, get on the website and tell us what you think of the segment and tell us what you think of his ark, ark, arking. All right. This is 817 on West Bremer Radio.